Hello and welcome to Big Orbit Games unboxing of the latest Car 5 Vanguard expansion GCB01 Academy of Divas, that's G Clan Booster, the first Clan Booster. So my name is Simon, I'm joined today by James. Hello, I'm James. And we're going to open this box and go through the cards. So let's dig in right away. Just, just so you know, we already know that Lambrose isn't a Jimmy the Jungle unit. We just went by Nation because we didn't have one. So I'm that for it. That and Lambrose is amazing. Woo! And if he was a big music triangle unit, I'm sure he'd be fabulous. <laughs> That's a shout out to Tan, by the way. Right, so first of all, just to remind everyone, it is World Championships coming up, um, which is going to be awesome. Some of us will be there, United Kingdom, that's us, in October. So come along to that, up in Manchester. So cool, that's in the top there. Right, so let's open the booster. So to note, this is a bit different from normal boosters. You get seven cards in here, and what's the rarity split? Uh, five commons, one single art, and another single art or above. There we go. So first of all, just to get this out of the way, we've got a uh, little advert in the back of all of these for GBT04 out October 2nd for everyone who doesn't play Bermuda. And of course, we have a buddy fight for Shadow vs. Hero uh, advert. Which so. is already out. Which is already out. <laughs> so I'll go through these. As we go through the commons, I'll start skipping through them, focusing more on the rares. So first one up, we have the Reticent Diva Is Isuka. I am going to completely butcher names, I am so sorry. Who's just a vanilla grade 1 AK. That was a very exciting card. We then have the Mystery Solving Time Ithil. Um, when a grade 3 is placed on Vanguard, this unit gets plus 10,000 until end of turn. So, yeah, becomes an 18k grade 2 hitter. Which is especially good for Mia decks. Mmm. Then we have Beware of Surprises! Almin, look, she's so surprised. Um, like I said before, it's dangerous. Uh, so she's got Generation Break 1, Soul Blast 1 at the end of your turn. If this unit is rested, you can pay that cost to return this unit to your hand. So, it's bouncing, which is what? There have been they other clans that have a similar effect, actually, so unfortunately that's not Bermuda. Not Bermuda exclusive, mm. but it is a Bermuda thing. We have Afternoon Tea Party Coover, 10k grade 2. Morning Impact Lips, who's just a uh, standard 5k crit trigger. And then we have the first of our rares, so this is a single R, Fluffy Ribbon Somni. Uh, as you can see, she's a stride unit. And she has the automatic ability on Vanguard Circle that when her attack hits a Vanguard, choose one of your rear guards, return it to hand, choose up to one card from your hand, call it to rear guard, and that unit gets plus 3k until end of turn. So, so if you wanted to, you could just um, put down the same unit you just picked up. Yeah. If it's especially good. With the plus 3k bonus on top of it, so. And then we have a GR <laughs> Generation Rare. That's it, that's it. Boxing undone. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so. First pack, we have got School Atoyal Olivia. So, this is one of the big cards for the set. Fantastic, we pulled in our first booster. <laughs> so, hint for anyone buying a box, go for the top booster. <laughs> uh, she has one very long automatic ability, so bear with me while I read this out. So, counter pass one and choose a card, a face down School Atoyal Olivia and turn it face up. Standard stride, uh, stride cost there. When this unit attacks a vanguard, if you if the number of face-up cards in your G-Zone is one or more, you can pay that cost. If you do, choose up to five of your rear guards. If all of the chosen units have different card names, return all of those units to your hand. And then if three or more units are returned, choose up to two cards from your hand, call them to separate rear guard in different rows, and this unit gets plus one crit until the end of that battle. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, especially annoying for my shadow pad in Witches because I'll be like, hi, you've got all grade zeros and like, now I've got 50k shield. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's a lot you can do with Olivia. She works really well with a lot of uh, Bermuda Triangle cards. Oh, I'm not going to go through the Pacific Hairs, but she's a very cool card. Very awesome to have pulled her in the first booster. It's going to be really anticlimactic now for the rest <laughs> of these, isn't it? That's kind of a good card. <laughs> <laughs> so, first of the top, Sweet Paradise Mania. 
she's got the new harmony ability. So this is when you're, another unit's placed in the same column as this unit, both units become in harmony till the end of the turn. Not a problem, because you can usually bounce triangle units a lot and get that harmony back. So she, her other ability is to generation break one when she boosts. If she's in harmony, the boosted unit gets plus 4,000 till the end of that battle. So it just becomes a 10k booster if you harmonize and a generation break one. Then have Prism Duo Loretta. So Duo gets some support in here, as does um, just normal Prism. And her, she's just the limit break remover for Bermuda Triangle. We then have another Reticent Diva. Finger Magic Mako. She's your forerunner. With the Generation Break 1 at the end of the battle that she boosted, you can return the unit to your hand. Again, a classic ability. There are two forerunners in this set, so if that one doesn't appeal to you, there is a more harmony based one, but that one's sort of just the generic. Yeah, generic mood triangle forerunner. We then have Lover of Hearts Penalotta. Penalotta? Penalotta? We'll go with that. Uh, just a standard heal trigger. Then the first rare from the pack is First Lesson Akira. Uh, Akari, sorry, not Akira. Um, so, speaking of the harmony forerunner. <laughs> She is a forerunner with harmony, <laughs> and then her continuous generation break one ability, if she's in harmony, she gets the ability of act, put this unit into your soul, then choose one of your other rear guards, return it to hand, and draw a card. So you get a big card advantage from her as well. And soul, which is useful for that. Yes. And behind that we've got a single R, which is Prison Promise Princess Caltech. So this is seeing the return of the three promising ladies, yes. I believe, yes. Uh, she's at grade 2, and her ability is active on Vanguard or Rear Guard, so you can pass a card with Prism in its card name when her attack hits a Vanguard, and then you get to choose one of your other Rear Guards, return it to hand, and if you return to Rear Guard, you get to draw a card. So again, just more good card advantage there. So yeah, if you didn't know, uh, the second single R, if you do get two single R's, will always have a double R foil. It's very nice. Very nice foiling. It's a bling out your deck. Yes. So you see that single R? Very cool foiling on that. Feels weird with the weight of these boosters because of the fact there's those extra cards in there. Mm. Feels a bit, it's a bit weird. Right, we have Full Throttle Idle Lurry. Uh, Another Harmony um, Triangle with Generation Break 1 when she attacks and she gets plus 3k for being in Harmony till the end of that battle. So she becomes a 10k Grade 1 hitter and if she's in Harmony. Good for the early turns. Then we have Little Princess Namari. She's again Harmony at grade 3. And once per turn, uh, at generation break 1, you can counterblast 1 when this unit attacks a hit a Vanguard. And if this unit's in Harmony, uh, you can pay that cost. And then you choose one of your other rear guards, return to your hand, choose it to one card from your hand, call to rear guard, and that unit gets plus 5k until end of turn. So there we go. Oh, it works at rear guard as well. Yes, works on rear guard as well. Then we have Victory Appeal Philly. Philly? Yeah, we'll go with Philly. I definitely will not lose to anyone. Another Harmony and another Once Per Turn Generation Break 1 ability costing a Counter Blast. When she becomes in Harmony, if you Counter Blast 1, you can draw a card. So, yeah, it's alright. Yeah. There's a lot of Counter Charges in, in Bermuda Triangle there. Yes, and we'll get to see the new Counter Charge ability when that pops up. Then Southern Harmony Malvi, which is a draw trigger. Cold Ice Sarah, just a standard sand trigger. Then we have Duo Lovely Devil Viper. So this is a Legion at grade 2. Uh, her ability is to counterblast 1 when she's returned to hand from rear guard. If your Vanguard is in Legion, you can pay the cost. And if you do, choose one of your other units, search your deck up to one card with the same card name, reveal it, put it into your hand, shuffle the deck as always. Then you can choose up to three cards with the same card name as the unit on your Vanguard from your hand, reveal them, and if you reveal three cards, you get to counter charge one. So this is the new uh, counter charge one symbol when the camera hopefully focuses on that. You can just see the green symbol down there. So this allows you to unflip damage, basically. Mm. And then we have, ooh, the double R, Image Master Kukuri. So this is your uh, standard Sentinel. Um, obviously with the new Star Ones, it only works on the Vanguard, though. Um, 
But if there's another one in the drop zone, you then get to counter charge one. So, just a. Her little turtle makes me smile. Oh, the little turtle on her shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Where it focuses. Little turtle on her shoulder. Constantly trying to make the meter triangle more adorable. <laughs> <laughs> and succeeding. <laughs> When I managed to get into this pack, we have a top. Ooh, spoilers. We have a Top Gear Idol Sanya. No, she's not the new host of Top Gear, sadly. Uh, Harmony ability, and with the Generation Break 1, when she attacks, she gets plus 3k, so she becomes a 12k grade 2 hitter, if in Harmony and Generation Break 1. Which is a big cost compared to the other ones, which are just Generation Break 1. Yeah, I suppose Harmony is not difficult to achieve, though. Mm -hmm. So. so. And then we have one round fight, Hinata. So when this unit is attacked, she gets plus 5k until the end of that battle. So it's just a good early grade one to drop down that you don't need to worry too much about having to guard to keep alive if you need it, I guess. We have another mystery solving time. A sweet paradise mania. I think we've just done that one, haven't we? Yeah. But... Morning impact lips. Then our first single are Duo Gorgeous Lady Kazua. So she's a grade one, and her ability it works on the rearguard circle. Uh, you have to counter blast a duo, uh, and when an attack hits a vanguard during the battle, this unit boosted, you can pay that cost. Then you can choose one of your other rearguards with Duo in its card name, return it to hand, search your deck for up to one card with the same card name as that unit, reveal it to your opponent, put it in your hand, and shuffle the deck. So, just drawing more. Oh, that works well for her then, because you need to reveal three of her. Yeah, so that gets you more of those out. So, works well with her. And then we have the Duo half. Lovely Angel and Emil, as James just pointed out, the other half of the Legion. <laughs> um, so, her ability once per turn, Counter Blast 2. When your unit is returned to your hand from rear guard, if, this, if you're in Legion, you can pay that cost. And then you get to search your deck for two cards with the same card name as the unit returned to hand. Reveal them to your opponent, put them into your hand, shuffle the deck, then choose up three cards with the same card name as the unit on your vanguard from your hand. Reveal them to uh, counter. And if you reveal three, sorry, then you get to counter charge two. So, effectively, just drawing cards for free, basically. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then her other act, once per turn, allows you to soul blast a duo, and then choose one of your rear guards and return it to hand. So put the little legion together. Yeah, we're going to have to do it. We're going to put the little legion together. They want to be together. So because of the difference in foiling, though, they do come out a bit. Yeah, but you can get her in double R foil as well. Ah, there we go. Because they're both actually single R's, I believe. Yes, they are. So you can see it's that really nice foiling on there for the... Uh, the single R. Double R foiling is definitely my favourite. Although, I guess the Bermuda Triangle, like triple R's and GR's, are really cool because they've got the heart patterns and everything. Really, like, really jazz it up. Yeah, but no, I, I agree, I really like the, the double R foiling technique. We have another finger magic, another afternoon tea party, beware of more surprises, another idol, a lover of hearts heel trigger. And then we have Dreamer Dreamer Crook. <laughs> oh, Dreamer Dreamer Crook. So she's a stand trigger with Harmony though, and Generation Break 1 continuous ability that when she's in Harmony, she gets the following ability. The cost is to put this unit onto the top of your deck, and at the end of the battle that this unit boosted, you can do that. If you did, you can choose one of your other rear guards and return it to hand. Choose it to one card from your hand and call it to rear guard, and then shuffle the deck. So you get to drop another card down in a place, basically. Mm -hmm. I think people can appreciate the anime cliche of rushing to school with a piece of toast in your mouth. Yes. Good point. I almost missed that. <laughs> Homework going everywhere. <laughs> and then we have Superb New Student Shizuku. Shizuku? Is that right? Should we go with that? Yeah. So this is a double R with a very nice foiling. She's another grade one with a, with a harmony and a once per turn generation break one ability that when she's in harmony you can look at five cards from the top of the deck, search for a grade three or greater, reveal it to your opponent, put it in your hand and shuffle the deck. That is very good for G-series. Yes, very good for G-series. So you probably want that in a Olivia deck with Loras. Just so you can make sure you get them. Yeah. 
So we have Prism Duo Loretta, which is the Limit Break Remover. Another Reticent Diva. A Little Princess Himari. Uh, I don't, have we done this one? Yeah, we've done this. There we go. I'm losing track already. One Round Fight Hinata. Southern Harmony Malvi. Then we have a Talent of Perseverance, Shandy. So this is a grade one. And her auto ability, you get uh, as a cost, choose a grade three card from hand and reveal it. When she's placed on rearguard from hand, pay the cost to search your deck for a grade three with Loris in its card name. Reveal it to your opponent, put it into your hand, shuffle the deck, choose a card from hand, and discard it. And then her continuous ability whilst in the hand, while you're paying the cost for stride, her grade gets plus two. So I'm sure you've seen these before in other clans, it just means you get to use her effectively as stride fodder. Mm. And she gets Loris out. So useful. And then we have Duo Lover Joker Ch Chulum. Chulum? I'll go with that. <laughs> Again, I really apologise for butchering these names. A lot of people don't know. I'm <laughs> it's all just written down. Duo Love Joker. There we go. So she's a critical trigger with this lovely hollow foiling on her. And a nice big ability. So, whilst on rear guard, the cost is to count, uh, counter blast one and put the unit on top of the deck. And you can do this when your other unit is returned to hand from rear guard, if you have a Vanguard with Dewey in its card name. And if you do, search your deck for up to one card with the same card name as the unit returned to hand, reveal it to your opponent, put it into your hand, and shuffle the deck. So again, just getting extra copies out of the deck into your hand, ready. Dewey is definitely good. Mmm. Murakumo is very jealous. <laughs> People have gone very good lately, though. They have, but still. They're stealing their thunder. So we have the Full Throttle. Victory Appeal. Have we done this one? I don't think we have done Yes, it. we have done Yes. Mystery Solving Time. Beware of Surprises. Cold Ice Era. Ooh, then we have another Grade 4 Stride. So, Yes, we have. <laughs> Just as I'm about to read Fluffy Ribbon and remember. Oh, Loris. Loris. Speaking of Loris. So she's a grade 3, 11k, and harmony ability with a gen uh, once per turn generation break 2. And when she becomes in harmony, choose two of your units to get plus 5k till end of turn, and she gets plus 1 critical until end of turn. You can also counter pass 1 during your turn when you stride, and if you do, choose one of your rear guards and return it to hand. And if you did, get to draw a card from it. So. Nice hollow as well there, all the sparkly stars, very pretty. I'm going to put that one, I'm going to put that one there. So, on to the next one. We have a finger magic again, a little princess, a Top Gear Idol, I'm sure we'll agree that all little princesses. Morning Impact, level of, lever of lover of heart. <laughs> Uh, Duo Beloved Child of the Sea Palace Minami. So this is a single R, and you can counter blast one when your other units return to your hand from rear guard, if you have a duo vanguard. This unit then gets plus 5k till end of turn, then choose three cards with the same card name as the unit return to hand and reveal them, and if you did, reveal three, counter charge one. So ability cost neutral. So, as long as you've got those counter blasts initially, you can really do some cool stuff with me you now, can't you? Yeah. I um, suppose you'd use draws as well in duos, so just so you have that many to show. Hmm. Keeping good hand advantage. Ooh. Ooh. And then we have Prison Promise Princess Leap. So, single R, but with the hollow foil treatment. Um, her ability, when she's returned from, to your hand from rear guard, if you have a Prison Vam guard, Counter charge one, soul charge one, choose one of your other units, it gets plus 4k till end of turn, and till end of turn you cannot normal call Princess Leet. So it can be used by card effects, such as Bermuda abilities, you just can't call them normally from hand. If we do get um, Labrador, we can put her, Labrador, <sighs> and Celtic together yes. and make one big picture. Yes, we can. Come on, Labrador. So, we have another Loretta, Afternoon Tea Party, Reticent Diva, Sweet Paradise, Southern Harmony, First Lesson, we've done that one haven't we? Yes. And a Cherished Phrase, Reina. So, another critical trigger with an ability, 
and I'm going to keep saying this, but that is a beautiful hollow foiling on that. Uh, double R critical trigger as well. So from rear guard, you can put this unit into your soul when your vanguard attacks. If you have a grade three or greater vanguard with Loris in its card name, and if you do, draw a card, choose one of your vanguards, and it gets plus five k until end of the battle. So especially it's drawing, charging, and giving you a small boost as well. So yeah, a lot of clans are getting that now. Mm. Still, it's a useful thing. It is, especially for Royal Paladin. But these are Bermuda Triangles. I know, but I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's more important for Royal Do you have a Loris in Royal Paladin <laughs> you're not telling me about? So you have Victory Appeal, Full Throttle, One Round Fight. Beware of surprises. Cold Eye, she's not that surprising anymore. Duo Lovely Devil Vapor. And then we have a Secret Smile Poom. So she's a generation break one, grade one. Um, when she's placed on Guardian Circle, she's a torn card from your hand. Call it to an open rear guard, and she gets plus 5k shield until end of that battle. So 10k shield her for calling a card. Can't argue with that. Mm. So, penultimate pack. Come on, Labrador. We got an Olivia, but I want a Labrador more. So. Another finger magic. Sweet. Oh no! Cards everywhere. <laughs> Don't worry, I saved them. Ta -da! And in the right order. We have a sweet paradise. Afternoon tea party. Mystery solving. Morning impact. Another dreamer dreamer. And a sincere girl Liddy. So she's a grade three double R with Harmony and Generation Break 1. So during a turn she gets plus 5k for each of your units in Harmony. So she can get quite a nice boost. 30,000. Yeah. Very tasty. <laughs> Is that right? 30? Yes, it yeah. would actually, yes. So, and she has an auto ability. Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1 when she's placed on Vanguard. And if you do, look at 5 cards from the top of the deck, search for up to 1 card with the Harmony ability, reel it to your opponent, put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. That lets you get more how many units out. So the final pack. Come on, Labrador. That'd be amazing if we got Labrador. I can't remember how many we've had. Probably too many. Yeah. <laughs> so another Prism Duo. A full throttle. Top Gear. Lover. Southern Harmony. Then we have a Talent of Perseverance Shandy. And Celtic. You were on the right. <laughs> you were on the right lines. <laughs> so as we've already seen, Celtic. We might as well find the other one just to uh, put them together and then live in the dream that one day we will have There's a Labrador. Space in the middle, yeah. yeah, I know. <laughs> look, at, look at the void you've left us, <laughs> Labrador. They want to be together, but they can't. There we go. So, I think the most excitement we had was opening Olivia on the very first pull. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a pretty exciting opening. Um, but yeah, that is the opening for Academy of Divas. Any closing thoughts you want to add on the set? Well, I thought I'd just add the thing about the SPs. Yes. Is that not only do they they get rid of this white border around the text, so it's all, but they keep a little bit so it stands out still. But a lot of the SPs in this set have alternate artwork where the ladies have legs. Yes, when they grew legs so they can go to the beach. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, but if you look at uh, I think it's if you look at some of these artworks, hold on a second, I just, just, just gonna, I'm gonna taunt you with this while James <laughs> looks through. Like this. I always found it weird. Like look how the tail bends, as if they have knees. That's a very good point. <laughs> It's all just a costume. <laughs> <laughs> They're not real mermaids. It's all a ruse. <laughs> we know the truth. <laughs> right, well, there we go. That is an opening for the first Card Fight Vanguard Clan Booster. Uh, who's up for the next one? The next one is Aquaforce. Ah, so more Megalankia. Yeah. Uh, and finally Lambros. <laughs> the right place. Lambros, who's been hidden under a sea of ladies, mermaids. We're just going to keep hiding him there, it's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, overall this is a good set. You're adding support. They've added supporting for Duo and Prism, as well as creating some new stuff. 
It does seem to be a bit of a testing ground with uh, Bermuda Triangle. Mm. They always seem to be the first, so the first extra booster. They got this first clan booster. You know, they seem to always sort of like be testing ground for them. So, but it usually works as well. Yeah. So, well, kudos to them for Bushy for doing that. You have to do well in the tournaments as well. Yeah, I mean they're fairly solid, and you can build some really decent decks with them. Um, just remember, always run four heels. There's someone out there who will appreciate that. <laughs> but there we go. So, I hope you've enjoyed watching this little unboxing video. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. And again, remember everything you see here can be bought and sold on our website, bigorbitcards.co.uk. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Join us in future for more videos. That's bye from me, Simon. Bye from me, James. Bye.